Boston 25 News, a nine-year-old boy receiving treatment after falling on a needle during football practice in Boston's Clifford Park. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Caritas has been reporting on concerns about littered needles in this park for five years now. He's live tonight in Boston where the boy's mom says she doesn't want to see anyone else go through this. Drew? She sure doesn't, Vanessa. We should tell you that we're standing a ways away from Clifford Park right now because of safety concerns at this time of night, all spilling over from the Mass and Cass corridor. This mother is telling me that her nine-year-old son is already feeling sick from two medications he now has to take for the next 28 days after falling on a needle during football practice. I was in tears inside because that's that could be my son. To see him in that condition, bawling like, tears like a river and all he kept saying is coach I just want to play football football practice abruptly sidelined for this nine-year-old whose face were blurring to protect his identity the child left Clifford Park in Roxbury in an ambulance on Wednesday night after Boston Bengals football coach Domingo Starosa says the boy fell on a needle while running laps and he said coach I tripped I fell and I felt something sting me and when I looked down on my leg, I had a needle sticking in my leg. I panicked, I got scared. I pulled the needle out and threw it. It's something I no child should go through. It should not happen at all because it's very painful for a mother to see a child suffer. We spoke on the phone with the child's mother who says she waited in the emergency room with her son for six hours before he was prescribed medications he now needs to take for nearly a month to protect him from potential exposure to bloodborne viruses like HIV and hepatitis. After that, he starts saying, I'm going to throw up, I'm going to throw up, and he's running to the bathroom, and I see him throwing up all day long. The ordeal her child is facing is a heartbreaking scenario I've been reporting on for years at Clifford Park, asking the city of Boston what more can be done to protect families from littered needles. What's been making it even scarier for the Boston Bengals football team during nightly practices is that only three out of the 12 stadium lights work, leaving some of the park in the dark. The people who keep on doing drugs in here is to stop the drugs. Well, that could have been anyone. It could have been him. I'm telling him, don't go there no more. This is the end. You say, no, I'm going to play. I want to play again. I want to play. I reached out to the city of Boston. This is the statement I got. Quote, the city takes seriously any incident involving the well-being of a child and is working to ensure that Clifford Park is a safe and pleasant space for all to enjoy. I just reported on an incident at the same park back in August when a Suffolk County detective stepped on a needle during a volunteer cleanup. The mother of a nine-year-old boy who fell on the needle tells me they were not able to find the needle in question last night right after this happened. And with multiple needles found today, they couldn't be sure which, if any, it was. We're live in Boston. Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News. Mm. Drew, thank you. The Boston City Council is set to hold a public hearing on Friday, Friday morning, to address the safety conditions and the cleanliness at Clifford Park. We'll be there and we'll continue to follow this story as it develops.